Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I want to show you kind of a cool tool that I've been using um, as I've flipped a couple of my classes. I'm currently flipping advanced placement biology and I've been looking for some method of making my video lectures that I'm sending home with the kids a little bit more interactive as opposed to just a very passive watch a video come to class. I'm trying to think of something to get them engaged and I came upon this website called Edpuzzle and uh, today I'd like to show you how to use that. If you've already seen my other video on how to use QuickTime to record your screen and make your own videos, this will fit really well with that. Um, so go back and watch that video first. And if you don't want to make your own videos, but you want to use YouTube videos somebody else has made, this website works really well for that too. So it's a pretty simple design. Uh, once you get in, you got to make your own login, you know, password, email kind of stuff. It really only takes like a few seconds. It's not a big deal. So if you have a YouTube video that you want to use for a class, that you want to send home with the kids, or you want to make a sub plan for a day that you're going to be gone that the kids can watch, you can look up that video on YouTube and paste that URL right in here, hit search, and it'll pull that video up for you just like that. Now I record my own videos, so I'm going to bring mine to my content, but uh, either way the uh, manipulation of the video will be the same. So I go to my content, and these are the videos that I've uploaded. First I uploaded them to YouTube, and then I got them onto Edpuzzle. With this one I actually just uploaded it to Edpuzzle, and it was fine. And so we're going to click on a uh, video uh, 31.1, that's for chapter 31, and it's not really finished yet. I'm going to edit it, because what this website allows you to do is to insert questions that the students have to answer, and they can't progress in the video until they've answered those questions. And I kind of like that. So we're going to go ahead and click edit. So it's going to pull the video, which might take just a second, and I'm going to play it to see what it sounds like. Now, I cropped this with QuickTime. And when I cropped it with QuickTime, I cut it off just a little too soon. And you can see there's still some on my home screen. I don't really need that. So it allows you to crop a video. If you have a video from YouTube and the video is 8 minutes long, but you only want a 4 minute chunk, you drag these red lines to the 4 minute chunk you want, and you crop that video. Now I want to crop about a second off of mine and get that screen to just be black. So I go ahead and hit that red scissors, and we crop this video. So that'll take just a second, it's going to think, it's going to crop it, crop. And we should be good, I think. I don't know, normally my crops work pretty well uh, when I just use QuickTime. So uh, then we're going to hit play. I can hear my video going. I'm going to move it forward to where I want to add my first question. So there's stem cells, I don't want to ask about that. Uh, let's move ahead. So you can go through your video and you can kind of check out what you want to use um, for your questions, where, where a good question would fit. I don't think I want to ask about stem cells. So let's pop ahead a little bit forward here. Let's go back. Before we talk about tissues, I want to check and just see if they're listening towards the end of stem cells. And we're going to stop them right about here. Pause. Okay. Now, I want to stop them right about here. If you want to voice your own, add your own voiceover, you can add that here. Um, if you want to change some notes, you can change that here. But what I really like about this is this question feature. So wherever you stop the blue circle, that's where your question's inserted. Now, I just had a explanation of stem cells and the different types of stem cells. And so I hit question, and it throws a question here at this five minutes and 19 seconds in the video. So you just click the question, and it comes up. I can have an open-ended question. I can have a comment if I just want my comments to pop up. But what I really like is the multiple choice check all that apply questions. And so you have a question and you have multiple choices. And the kids will answer these and you'll get to see how many kids have answered, what they've answered, whether or not they got the question right. It's a really cool formative assessment tool. So we're going to say that stem cells can and we're just going to leave it kind of open-ended. Uh, one option we're going to say um, undergo differentiation by gene expression divide to make more stem cells and see both of these answers are correct. So I'm going to give them both a green check mark. 
So now we gotta think of a wrong answer. Um, let's see. We gotta we gotta throw something in there. It's not right. Stem cells can be found only in bone marrow. They can be found in bone marrow, by the way. Just that's not the only place we can find them because we use uh, human embryos, which is part of the, the the dilemma, the ethical dilemma we were talking about. So let's leave it there. It's not that complicated. But stem cells can undergo differentiation. There's a correct. Uh, there's a correct. There's an incorrect. And if you want to add more answers, you can, but we'll go with three, and we'll hit save. Now that question is saved. So I can progress through here, and I can add more questions, as many as you like, two or three. And uh, this is what the question will look like for the kids. If you don't like it, you can come back and edit it and save it. If you want to get rid of it, there's a little trash can. This is the super user-friendly thing. So we'll pop forward. We'll make one more question back here about tissues. And uh, let's do let's do one right here. We'll pause it, we'll throw a question in, same exact type, uh, hit the green question box, hit the check all that apply, and say two or more cell types working together constitutes, and we're going to make this one the wrong one. Let's go with uh, cell, let's make this one the wrong one and call it cell cooperation complex, just give them some nonsense, I'll just make up. Uh, let's give them a correct one and call it a uh, tissue. And we'll go ahead and mark that as correct. And we'll throw another one in here. We'll call it an organ. Organ. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and hit save. There's our second question. So you could add three, four, five, however, however you want. Uh, it's totally up to you. And you can leave them open-ended. I like the multiple choice. The kids check all that apply. Uh, when you're done, you just hit save. That's all there is to it. Uh, when you want to share this with your kids, it's, it's super simple. You just go to finish, little blue box. Uh, I'm going to add it to the class, which is AP Biology. It's the only class that I have. Uh, this is a really cool feature. It's prevent skipping. Um, when the kids watch this on Edpuzzle, they cannot just click the bar before the question, answer the question, click the bar before the question, answer the question. The website requires them to watch the video. They can't skip ahead, which is really nice. You can assign due dates, which I, I don't because I do that on a different website, uh, but that's an option. So we just hit send, and uh, it's gone. It's to your kids. If you want to send it through a different method, so let's say it's sent to Edpuzzle, but my kids don't go straight to Edpuzzle. They go to Edmodo, or I want to send it through email. That's very easy. Pick the video you want. You hit share. There's a link if you're doing an email. There's an embed code, and you can embed this into a window that pops straight up on Edmodo and they never have to go to YouTube they don't have to sit through ads they don't get distracted by other videos it's just your video the questions you want it's quick and easy to work with it's Edpuzzle and I'm kind of a fan of it if you have any questions let me know email contact me however you want to do it and uh, I'll be happy to uh, answer any questions you have but uh, I hope you find this tool useful and uh, I hope you enjoyed this little little demonstration Thanks for your time.